Okay, so this is a video to follow up on my unboxing yesterday that I didn't get to really complete. So you got to see me pull the tissue out, right? And I wanna to explain to you, here's what they do to you on these live videos, and they get me. If you're, if you're a crystal person like me, it's kind of like you become very impulsive. And so this crystal happens to actually be, I believe, the same as this, okay? Or, and, and this one right here. Okay, just a little bit darker. I could be absolutely wrong. Now, I want to explain to you the difference between crystals sold in China and versus crystals that you can buy in the U.S. This is Dragon's Blood right here. Um, this is from the U.S. This is Agate, Blue Agate. This is Blue Agate. These are manufactured. I, I don't think they come like this. But then sometimes, if you can prove me wrong, please do. I feel like they're manufactured because the blue, I feel like, is injected into it and then therefore polished. So being a, a huge crystal collector, I want to explain to you the difference of why I prefer raw. Because with raw, I know I'm getting the real thing. If you don't polish it, that's just fine. I have the real unpolished finish the unpolished product now this is polished but it's raw it's still at raw form it's a, well it's not raw actually but it's close to darn near close to like this one and so this is also another one it has clear quartz with moss agate and i would like to show you that one here so it's a huge piece of clear quartz with moss agate growing in it now, please, I want to explain to you how they tamper with beauty. This should have never been sprayed, but again, you know, I'm an impulsive uh, crystal shopper and I bought it because this was the trend at that time. And I forget what this spray is called. I wish if anybody knows how I could strip that, I would love to strip that and get her back down to natural form. Now, this is another natural raw crystal. Now, she's, I believe, some type of shell, something, I forget the name of her. And now she's growing out these beautiful pieces here, right? So that's raw. And then this is also in raw form. These that I've purchased a few times, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're the real deal. I think they are just, you know, and they're just shaped like that. I mean, they are the real crystal. It's just the shape of a, a like a snail or a shell, right? Then I have these like, you know, little mushrooms and, um, some purple agate i gave a few of these away i had so many and honestly i didn't like them when i first got them uh and now i think they're cute um i love anything with cluster so let's get back to that oh this is my malachite i love 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 malachite that's malachite that's my favorite crystal as you could see now if you pair malachite amethyst um Pyrite, or better known as some know as fool's gold, and smoky quartz, and this one right here, I forget the name of it, this will help to bring abundance of money. But I, I don't just want money. I want m money, love, prosperity, protection, all of it. So this would be considered a crystal grid. Um, here's a nice another piece of raw form. This is the also the Oregon vendor I have. Tell me what you see. I see birds in the trees. I actually see one, two, three, four, five, six crows. Um, this is an egg stand. I found it on Amazon and I said, you know what? I bet you it'll be perfect for a crystal holder. And it is. So let me give you some tips. These are candle holders. They make good crystal holders. Um, I love this crystal right here too. Uh, it's a rarity. Another one of my rare ones is that one. I've never seen anybody with that type of crystal, that color. Uh, if you're a crystal person, you can tell me what that is because I'm not really sure if that is this, just polished up, you know, because it looks like it. Um, oh, let me show you manufactured. Okay, look, here's how I caught it. So now the crystal was polished and dipped and polished and dipped. And when I got it in the mail, I was really upset, but... It was from China and, you know, try to get your money back from them. So, yeah, here you go. Manufactured from China. Delivered to you from the U.S. Let's try to keep the money in the U.S. I, I encourage that. You know, we, uh, 
we need our we need all our resources so if you're a crystal collector like me and you have any suggestions about the the pink one down there please let me know um oh please check out the heart in that one i love it um and then this one is a beauty too because you have to kind of look into it to see that amazing mist and then you have that one and then i told you about the doozy back there then that's the one I bought where they got me kind of because like, I mean, it's worth it for a buck 20 because of the size, right? But it's not an overall like fantastic crystal. I mean, you may think it is, but I think I could have got a beautiful piece of amethyst uh, for that price. This one, highly disappointed. Not what I thought. I thought I was getting a nice big blue one. She did not show the gray. She moved too fast. And... This one is a rare, uh, it's called Ocean Blue something. These are used to be very popular. They seem to be very rare. I don't see them as often. It's another form, I believe, of amethyst, but a different type of amethyst. And I don't, don't um, hold me to that. And I do like a lot of rose quartz, as you can see, and amethyst. They are really good crystals for keeping um, peaceful aura. There's a beautiful here. Now, again, this is my Oregon guy. This is strawberry quartz. See, rose quartz, strawberry quartz. I hope this all makes it into my short. I hope you guys enjoyed my crystal collection. If you have any questions or if you can give me any suggestions, please let me know.